Oh shoot, here we go again. Hello everyone, welcome back. We got Cat Quest 2. Now, it's been a minute since I've played any sort of video games on this channel, but some of you might remember that uh, maybe two or three months ago I did a complete playthrough of the first Cat Quest game, and as a birthday present I was gifted Cat Quest 2, so that's what we're going to be playing today. Now, Something that's pretty cool about Cat Quest is that you can play solo and co-op. Now, I was hoping to play this game with my fiance at some point, and my initial understanding was that you could start the story solo and then make it co-op at any point. Um, but now that I'm looking at this menu, I'm not 100% sure that that's the case. Um, but that might be good though, because maybe I can play solo on the channel and then her and I can just play co-op on our own, but um, if what I initially thought was the case is the case, then you may see her jump on for a couple of videos every now and then. Before we start playing, I do want to say that uh, they already started some of the story at the beginning um, before I even got to the menu, just to fill you guys in a little bit. Basically, there's this legendary sword that cats and dogs have been fighting over, and I am assuming that's what's going to be kind of the plot of the game. I'm a little bit rusty, like I said, I haven't played uh, any sort of video games like this in a while, so uh, I might take a little bit to get back into it, back into the swing of things, but without further ado, let's uh, get into the game. Oh, uh, yep, we will do slot one. Oh. So we will do less of a chance. Now we'll do normal, yeah. All right, here we go. Okay. Cats and dogs, I'm assuming. That cat's got a sweet earring. All right, here we go. Oh man, I love the art style of this game. Oh, Kiri, last game we had Speary. Now we have Kiri. Okay. All right, do I remember how to play? All right, B to roll. Remember that usually goes by a lot faster. Oh shoot, I gotta do a cave already? I don't even remember the buttons. Okay, it's Y. Let's open this chest here. I might as well equip that. Doesn't do much, but you know, this early in the game can't hurt. Ooh. Okay, it's nice having another teammate to take some of the damage. Dog rags. So now, I'm just experimenting here. Does it differentiate between the two of us or no? Oh, I see. I have to switch to him and then equip that. Gotcha. Okay. Already got some new mechanics here. Oh, shoot. Yep, I knew that. Did he just follow me? Tweet what this guy's gotta say. By the night of the first kings, awaken this power in you. Oh, flame purr. You guys know from the first um, cat quest, I love me some flame purr. Boom. Get some. That's right. Give me that XP. Why am I moving so quick now? What's going on here? Okay. There's probably a secret path over to there. I think. Wait, what the heck was that? Alright, whatever. Oh! It was showing the mechanic of how that works. I gotcha. Yeah, I want that. Oh, I can just switch to be the dog? Cool. Alright. I like that. I have no mana. Ooh. 
Yeah, there we go. We get this XP, some coins. I'm not moving slow again. Why was I moving so quickly before? Okay, this is new. Just some boxes with coins. That wasn't in the last game. And let's leave the cave. Rest at safe stones. That was, okay, so in the last game there were little uh, catnap areas, but now we got the safe stones. I guess they gotta make it more inclusive with the dogs now. Oh no. I do have to say, there's not as much, uh, there wasn't as much of a backstory in this one. Like, I didn't even realize we were kings until the Kiryu just told us that we were kings. So, um, not as much explanation so far, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's not as good a game. Let's see what we got going on in here. King's Marker allows fast travel. Okay. Is that what that is? Oh, that's what these are. So how does it work? Oh, it just takes us to another spot. Does that mean we're gonna have to memorize where all the things are? Oh, good old feeling guard. Kit Kat, good old Kit Kat from the first game. Thank you. Level two, baby. What does this person got to say? Mm. So a war is raging. We will save here. So we don't have to do all that over again. Mm. Yeah, we'll fight some enemies. Get some XP. Some valuable coins as well. Oh, he used his mouse. Like, what? what was that? I didn't do that. Forgot that the dog has the mana as well. Good teamwork. All right. Uh-oh, Kit Kat's gone. It's level three, we're level three, right? Yeah, we'll do it. Usually, from my knowledge on the last game, you can usually get away with doing quests that are significantly level higher than what you are if you're any sort of decent at the game, so this shouldn't be too difficult. All right, we gotta go find Kit Kat. And we got some lines, just like the last game. Your roughingness. Follow the trail. What's this? Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, I see. That's cool. Oh. All right. Time to get after this cave. To a level four cave. All right. Oh, there's Kit Kat. Yeah. Good to see ya. The oars. Okay. Mhm. Mm okay. So I was wondering how that would work. So we would have to lure this guy onto the spikes. Nailed it. Get dog. Let's see what's in this chest over here. All right, I will definitely equip that for myself. Yeah, that's good. All right, let's go up here and get Whatever is up in this chest. Oh, get out of there. Frozen. Die, die, die. Ow. Let's see what's in this chest. Probably a dog vest, right? Ooh, knight armor. Do I want that? I'm going to be honest. All the I'm giving all the good stuff to the cat, you guys. Just so. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll do that.
There you go. All right. Let's open the coins in here, get some of them. Oh, <laughs> thought I was supposed to chop it. Oh, was that one there before too? Uh, maybe not. All right, let's go get it. Let's get that ore. And we go back. Here you go, Kit Kat. All right, let's go back to her shop. Oh my. Back to Kit Kat's shop we go. Who's this guy? So he just taxed her for something. Let's go see what that was about. All right. Yep, she's our blacksmith, which we remember from the last one. Do we want to upgrade right now? Is that part of the mission here? So, it costs 30 to upgrade that. Just looking at these ones over here. Yeah, we'll upgrade mine. Oh, you can upgrade it to different levels. Yeah, we'll just do a level plus one for that. Mm, I should probably upgrade the dogs too, shouldn't I? Just to keep it fair. Yeah, we'll just do plus one for, for the dog too. All right, that's good for now. Let's leave. Oh no, a mage. I hate the mages. Oh, they might be on our team this time. All right, to that. Oh, that's the end of the quest. I was gonna uh, do the next one, but I didn't realize that was the end. So I think we'll leave it here. Um, that was, I think, a decent amount for a first part. I will then end it here, and please stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you so much for watching.